So it's the year 899, King Alfred has died uh, and has been buried at Winchester. And Athelwold, uh, King Edward the Elder's son, King Edward the Elder was the next king in line after King Alfred, Athelwold, his cousin, uh, comes and seizes Wimborne and also Christchurch. This is Wimborne, this is Wimborne Minster, which is obviously a, a later building, uh, but it's thought that the actual uh, um, monastery uh, was here um, in more or less the same place. Uh, we know from records that it was a dual monastery, one for uh, nuns, one for monks, and um, it's um, also fascinating because the, uh, the Anglo-Saxon chronicles say that um, tell us that uh, Athelwold seized uh, a nun here and, uh, and, um, and married her, some of the uh, translations say. Um, and others have gone further and said that the reason he did this was to bolster his status, so this nun must have been a person of great significance. And some people even go further than that and say that um, before, King, uh, uh, before Edward the Elder came here, he was at Shaftesbury and he abducted uh, King uh, Alfred's daughter, um, so his cousin again, uh, f who was a nun at Shaftesbury Abbey. That is Athol Giffey. I don't buy into this. I don't think he, it was necessary for him to seize Athol Giffey from Shaftesbury Abbey. Uh, this was actually quite a prominent um, uh, religious foundation in Anglo-Saxon times in its own right. Um, it was founded by uh, King Ein and his wife was one of the first abbesses here. Um, it was a place of significance, so if he took somebody prominent from here, it could have bolstered his status, but who knows? I mean, maybe he just um, uh, came here, and he, maybe he came here because he, he, he had a relationship with somebody who was in religious service here. Anyway, he, he, he sees the nun. Uh, the story goes that a story is in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles that um, he, the, the nun came back to here, so it, that's further evidence that she wasn't from Shaftesbury. Uh, that, that when King Athel, uh, uh, not King Athel, um, Athelwold fled from here, the nun came back to Wimble. Um, anyway, so Athelwold did flee because King Edward the Elder set up at Badby Rings, which is a few miles uh, to the northwest of here, and um, Athelwold barricaded himself in Wimborne and um, the, uh, he said he would uh, uh, effectively that he would either die here or, um, or, or succeed. Anyway, um, he fled and he fled to Northumbria and it seems that he became a leader there and some sources even say he became a king there. The story goes on, eventually he was defeated in a battle elsewhere in England and he wasn't, Athelwold wasn't successful. So at the same time as he took here, um, he took um, uh, Christchurch and it's quite possible that he came here first and then sent troops down to Christchurch because there is a road that goes down to a Roman route. We, we don't know if the Roman routes were in existence um, at that time uh, or all of them. Anyway, so he, he may have gone towards Lake Farm and then on there down towards Christchurch and seize that after seizing here. Alternatively, after coming down from Winchester, there is a, a route that, that would have come down from Ringwood to Christchurch, so he could have sent some troops and seized that at the same time. There's no evidence that King Edward, uh, so that Athelwold was at, uh, um, at, physically at Christchurch, even though he had it seized. Um, so when uh, Athelwold took um, Wimborne and barricaded himself in. It seems that it, it, it was probably the, um, the monastery, the dual monastery uh, that existed then. Um, but you know, maybe Wimborne was a walled place, and what he, what was meant was he barricaded himself in the walled uh, um, uh, town. Um, we're, we're lacking in evidence as to where the walls would have been, so we can't really say that very much. But it seems that he, bon he, he barricaded himself into the monastery. Um, so, um, important place, and um, also because King Edward the Elder's, uh, sorry, King Arthur's, um, King Arthur, King Alfred's uh, brother, King Athelred, 
uh, was, was buried here shortly after the Battle of Meryton and pe people who read my book will know all about this. Um, here I am at uh, Banbury Rings uh, near Wimborne in Dorset and the year is 899 and uh, King Alfred has died. Technically King Edward the Elder is now king but what's happened is his cousin called Athelwald has seized Wimborne which is the farm of here and Christchurch which is a bit further on. And um, what happens is Edward the Elder, obviously, he sees this as a threat. It is a threat, I think, to his um, holding uh, the kingship. So Edward the Elder comes here to Badbury Rings, near Wimborne, which Athelwold has seized. Now, um, we don't know exactly where um, Edward the Elder was, but it's likely he, he was in this, this um, uh, area which the uh, Badbury Rings, which still serves as as you can see, it's got rings and it was still serve as a defence. So, we know that Athelwold, shortly after that, or sometime after that, fled from, uh, from Wimborne. And he actually went to Northumbria, and some sources say he uh, became king up there. I think it's less likely that he became king, but he, he became some sort of leader there. And he then came later down into Essex, and um, various battles took place in somewhere else um, and um, so this is a really interesting spot there are also um, a significant thing to remember about this is um, that not only is it an Iron Age hill fort um, after that um, in the Roman period it was very significant because um, a number of Roman roads actually intersected at this point in fact probably more a little bit just behind over the, in that direction and I'm going to try and do a little video over there to to uh, show you that because I think it's it's plausible that uh, King Edward the Elder and Athelwold um, there's no evidence that Athelwold came to Badbury Rings but certainly Edward the Elder uh, may have used Roman roads that were still in use at that point uh, that may still have been in use at that point um, so um, this is a great place to visit anyway um, it's a huge feature um, and um, uh, it's quite easy to find. So we're now on the other side of Badbury Ring, so that would be the north side. And the reason I've come here is because this is the location of a very important intersection, uh, a Roman intersection, uh, an intersection of Roman roads. And uh, it's quite possible that some of these roads, or maybe all of them, were, were here in the time that uh, uh, King Edward the Elder came to uh, Badbury Rings. So I'll just uh, point in the direction of, uh, of three that leave from this point, or it must be very close to this point. Um, I'll explain later on the Ordnance Survey map. Um, this way uh, goes down in the direction of uh, general direction of Wimborne and uh, uh, Lake Farm, and it seems likely that, that a road there would have gone on to. Um, perhaps Christchurch, and the, the Christchurch was relevant because um, Athelwold, as well as Wimborne Minster, had seized Christchurch in 899 after King Alfred died. Um, and also, uh, going that way, uh, when you get to Lake Farm there, it seems that there was a road that goes down to um, uh, Hamworthy in Poole, so that was uh, an access to a, uh, to a harbour there. Okay, so that's one road that goes off from here. There are two more from this spot and um, one uh, goes off in that direction and uh, readers of my book will know that I favour Kingston Deverell as the, as the location for Egbert Stone which is where King Alfred was prior to, Athel, prior to the Battle of Eddington uh, or the Battle of Ethandun at Eddington. Um, so it goes to Kingston Deverell and goes on all the way to Bath in that direction. If we go this direction there's a road uh, that goes to Old Sarum uh, near Salisbury. So this was a very important uh, 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 place. And it seems that um, when it seems plausible that uh, uh, Edward the Elder and Athelwold, when he went to Wimborne, uh, would have come from Winchester because it's, it could have been quite shortly after uh, King Alfred's funeral that they came down here. And there is a Roman road that comes down from Otterbourne near Winchester uh, and it comes down, it seems, through Ringwood and um, through past West Moors and Ferndown 
and may well come on to uh, Lake Farm, which is near Wimborne. So uh, there was an access route, presuming it was still uh, uh, there, but in, in Edward's the eldest, Edward the eldest time, uh, that would have brought him all the way down to Wimborne. And it's a short distance to Badbury Rings from Wimborne, and there's a Roman road that seems to have connected them. So I think the, the, the route uh, he would have uh, taken would probably have arrived, uh, could well have arrived here. I could be on the spot, standing on the, the spot that King Edward the Elder arrived at um, uh, when he arrived. Uh, this is a big moment, Danny. This is the, uh, could be the precise spot where uh, King Edward the Elder uh, came to uh, arrive when he got to uh, Badbury Rings and also the, 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 the route of any attack he made on, uh, on Wimborne. We know that King Ed, uh, uh, Athelwold, King Edward the Elder's cousin, um, left Wimborne and we'll come on to that later when we, uh, when we do some uh, uh, filming at, at Wimborne. Um, so I just thought I'd show you on the map what you can see. Um, so if you look at the map here, um, what you're looking for if you try and come to this particular point, is Badbury Rings there? If I pan out, um, you get a great view where we are. Uh, Pat Badbury Rings there, and um, you're looking for the intersection of three of these little dotted lines, just there near where the 95 is. Um, in fact, if we go, uh, we, we, I don't think we'll do any filming about this because we. we um, it's not relevant to King Edward the, Ed, 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 Edward the Elder's story, as far as we can tell. But if we just go a short way that way, there are uh, branches off from here. Also, uh, the main Roman road from uh, Badbury Rings to, uh, uh, to Dorchester. And then there's another road that comes off that that goes down to, down to Weymouth. Um, so, um, there we are, a bit of Badbury Rings. It's a, it's a fascinating site to come to in, in its own right, an Iron Age hill fort. Um, but the fact that so many Roman roads intersected here um, really underlines how important it was. And I think there was also a Roman temple on the west side as well. But um, Right, so here we are actually inside the rings at Badbury Rings. And it was here that King Edward the Elder would have had his, uh, his camp. He would have been here and his troops would have been here. Uh, we're right in the middle, so um, and the tallest point, the highest point on the um, highest point on the uh, uh, Badbury Rings, and um, so I think he probably would have been at this point because of the visibility in, in in various directions. We can't really see that very well at the moment because of the trees. We don't know whether there were trees uh, then. Uh, it was nice presumably, spot, yeah, it's very nice. It's pre was presumably vacated um, for some time because we know that the. Um, there was a Roman presence here, um, and it was originally, originally Anglo-Saxon, as far as we know. And um, so, between the Roman period and the arrival of King Edward the Elder, we don't know if there was actually anything here. Anyway, it's a great place to come. So uh, here we are at um, Christchurch Priory. Christchurch in Dorset was once in in Hampshire. Um, magnificent building. Um, if you've not been here, you've got to come here. Um, this obviously would have been here in the time of King Edward the Elder or King Alfred, but uh, there is good evidence of a uh, Saxon church uh, preceding this. In fact, some of it might have been incorporated uh, into this um, lovely uh, priory. In fact, it might have been just literally to my left here in, in, in the line of the building also, maybe coming out a little bit. Um, the Saxon burr would have gone um, uh, north of here, so up here you can't really see much because we're in the uh, in the graveyard, as it were. But the town is it would have been up there, uh, going up to where the north bank um, uh, of the town is, where I talk, which I talk about elsewhere. Um, so um, absolutely lovely place to come, and uh, uh, hugely historic as well. Um, and uh, King Edward the, uh, as you probably. Uh, you probably listened to elsewhere, Athelwold, after King Alfred died, came and seized uh, uh, Christchurch um, and uh, Wimborne Minster at the same time. Well, it wouldn't have been Wimborne Minster then because there wasn't a minster, but it would have been Wimborne. And uh, there's no evidence that Edward the Elder came here in pursuit of, of, of Athelwold, um, but um, I'm sure some of his forces, Edward the Elder's forces, did. 
Um, so um, obviously Edward the Elder wasn't successful, uh, uh, sorry, Athelwald wasn't successful because um, he fled in the end. He fled to um, Northumbria where he was accepted with the Vikings or mix of Vikings and local people up there um, as their leader and some say even as their king. Uh, but he did come back and cause um, cause much more trouble, which I'll uh, go into into the details of somewhere else. So this is a very interesting spot. I'm stood in the middle of a roundabout in Christchurch, and that's the road that goes down to the Minster, um, and that's a ancient track, or well, the route of an ancient track that goes down to Eichford Bridge and across what we would call the top of Bournemouth now, in a general direction of uh, of, of Wimborne. And that road there is another ancient track that goes in the general direction of Ringwood. That one uh, is the modern road that goes eventually through to the road that goes down to the New Forest. Now we know that Athelwold, um, when King Edward the Elder was uh, de facto king, when King Alfred died, um, he seized both Christchurch and, and Wimborne. And I think it's likely that he came from uh, uh, um, Winchester after King Alfred's funeral, and he, he may have taken the road from the Roman road from Otterbourne uh, uh, down to Ringwood, and then this track here coming into Christchurch, and then coming in through to uh, the top end of uh, uh, of Christchurch. There would have been a gate, more or less, in front of us, where you see near, uh, a couple of banks down there. That would have been the northern uh, gate of of Christchurch, so he would have come in there. Alternatively. He could have sent troops from, uh, Athelwold could have sent troops from uh, Wimborne, which would be more in that direction uh, uh, from, from that road, or indeed he could have done a combination of both. Um, so, um, interesting, there's no evidence that Edward the Elder came here uh, to attack um, any of Athelwold's troops, um, but um, it is. Um, possible that some troops did so. I mean he, when he was based at uh, Badbury Rings it does seem to, which is near Wimble, it does seem that the purpose of that was to uh, protect against, um, uh, to, to fight back against uh, Edward uh, Athelwold's seizing of Wimble. So very interesting, interesting spot to come. I wouldn't try and come to this roundabout necessarily yourself. It's a bit hazardous to try and get across to and uh, now my job is to get back across to the mainland as it were. Uh, so this is at the um, uh, bank just um, uh, east I think of, um, there must be west of the bank car park in Christchurch and uh, there's undoubtedly a raised bank just beyond the tree with the green man um, and um, which I think is great <laughs> and the lovely bench there. Um, it could be later landscape gardening who knows but it's um, roughly, roughly um, matches the line of uh, where we know um, the northern bank of um, the Saxon uh, Burr would have been. So if I come round here and have a look this side, it might be a bit more obvious. At the other end, it doesn't, you know, on either side actually, it doesn't run into anything. I mean, it could just be a, 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 a pile of a, a row of piled up earth from um, when they did these this little park here. It's, I think it's Druid Gardens this is called. Um, easy to find, lovely little spot.